Hey everybody, Tormental here, and that's my main man, Jesus. Alright, so I'm playing The Last Door, Chapter 2, Memories, and I'm trying to find... just pretty much anything that will help me fucking pry open a coffin which someone has been closed in alive. Uh, what... what around here... what around here could be used to pry something? Uh, maybe something outside that I missed. Okay, well, yeah, maybe. Oh, hello. You fucking bastard. This looks like his toolbox. I wonder if there's something useful in it. Use morphine on groundskeeper. No. Can I club him? No. Huh. I gotta find a way to get rid of the groundskeeper. So I could steal from him. Oh, talk to him. I should try that first. Tell me about Monsignor. Again? No, okay, it's the same thing he fucking said before. Okay, that's what he said before. Um... I know you're trapped in there, dude, but... Oh, wait, wait, is there anything in here? Grave recently dug. Nothing. Okay. I know you're trapped in there, buddy. I'm trying to help you. What could I use to pry that open? There's literally nothing here. What the fuck is this? This wasn't here before. It's a melted human. Oh. Nun's habit and walking stick. These no doubt belong to the nun I spoke to by the window, but where did she go? Oh, she went out into the ocean. Uh, and died. Can I take the walking stick? Now can I club him to death, please? No. Seems pretty straightforward. What the fuck can I do here? Nothing. Put morphine in water supply. No, um... That guy is fi- I thought, you know, that guy was fixing something maybe down toward the bottom left here somewhere, so I thought maybe I had to do something here, but apparently not. Interrupt none. Bad shit going down. Interrupt none. My coat. Kill boy. No. You gotta love it when games don't <laughs> give you any clue what you're supposed to be doing. Oh no, I'm trapped in these letters again. Oh god. So many letters. Okay. So, the scratched out picture, is that the groundskeeper dude? I don't know. What am I supposed to break so this dude fucking leaves the toolbox alone? Jeez, old Pete, good gracious. Great green gobs of greasy, grimy gopher guts, people. I hear you. I hear you. <sighs> what are you even doing, you psychopathic creep? Can I just fucking leave? Because this is... This is getting pretty annoying. Ugh. <sighs> Last door, what are you doing to me? <sighs> nothing. 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 Nothing! There's nothing to do here. Oh my god. Game, you're losing me. You, you completely lost me, actually. I am fucking annoyed right now. Ugh. Smash. Music box it. Coin it. Put more put morphine in coffin. For guy to use. Affair. Butts, butts, butts. I hear you, dude, in the coffin. I hear you. Nothing I can do about it. Absolutely nothing, because the game developers have not given me any idea what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Oh my god. Oh my god, give me things. 
I want things. Kill none. Bash none. Why? Why is this happening to me? <laughs> Why, game? Why? Why are you doing this? This is terrible. Oh, my God. What the goddamn? What the monkey fucking hell? Oh my god. I clicked on him again and there are more things to say now for no fucking reason. Ugh. Tell me about this place. <sighs> tell me about Mother Elizabeth. She's pretty strict, I can tell you that much, Mr. Devitt. Don't think she very much likes me either. Tell me about this place. Well, the construction of this building was ordered by an Episcopal bishop in Aberdeen in 1805. Tell me about Aberdeen. It was the place where I was born and raised, one of the biggest cities in Scotland. I was right, he is Scottish. Up! I took a tool while he was pointing somewhere. That is fucking cheap. Ugh. 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 Cheap. Cheap, 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 cheap. That was cheap, cheap. Okay, well, I forgot where I was going. That was not a Goomba, not a Koopa Trooper. That was cheap, cheap. Oh, man. All right, let somebody out. Yes? Yes? Who is it? Who that? Oh, that's my friend from the bed. The darkness of his eye. His body is petrified. He has a look of sheer terror in his eyes. Oh my god, what has happened? Talk, talk to me. Use morphine. Mother Elizabeth is trying to make him come to his senses. Alright, so she's out of the fucking way. Fucking finally. Jesus Christ. Who knew? that the way to get something out of the dude's toolbox was to look at the toolbox and talk to him and look at the toolbox and talk to him and look at the toolbox and talk to him look at the toolbox and talk to him and look at the toolbox and talk to him until he says something fucking different good god door is locked well there's gotta be a key somewhere here large bright ornate key well, that's good oh I didn't take the key <sighs> Things that should happen automatically. Oh, no. Mr. Potter. Wingardium Leviosa. I've walked into the past, eh? Eh? Don't look into his eyes. Okay. Wingardium Leviosa. Because the deepest darkness... Is my butt. Dwells in his eyes. Well, I know the first thing I'm going to do, which is look into his eyes. Come in, my son. Did you think you could hide those books from me? They are just classic literature books, Father. Socrates and Aristotle. Silence! Instruments of falsehood, you'll mean. The fallacy is coming from the snake. Now, take a look at my snake. Now, son, get on your knees and raise your arms. Ouch. Apologize to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Malum in C. Oh, wow. M Mulan is back in theaters? Is that what that translates to? Ah, broken window. Can I look at it? Do I need to look at it? Evil in itself. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba 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 -da -da. Strange eye-shaped symbol. Don't look at the eyes. And what I do is click on the eyes. Yeah, windows are breaking. That's great. Oh, birds flying into the window. I get it. Eye of the bird. It's the something of the fight. 
Stealing seed from your rival. Oh, fucking hell, we get it. Lord, your eyes burn me. I don't deserve mercy nor forgiveness. Oh, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Who are you sending me? Is death to whom you are handing me over? Has my hourglass already run out of sand? Father Ernest! Ernest, it's many, many years since I have heard that name. Since... Oh, I see. Father, I'm here to be able to remember. You have to help me, I beg you. Plias. Oh. I thought it was a misspelling of please. Okay. Please, entreaties, petitions, prayer, torment, exemption. Past times bring us just misfortune and pain. Father Ernest, I... That's one of your students. One of my old students, you say. It's only the Lord who teaches us. We all must follow his ordinance and disciplines. Get closer, son. Come pray next to me. No. 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 I'm not guiding that. That's not my choice. And all of a sudden, there shined a shiny demon in the middle of the road. A creepy image of Christ crucified. It's not an image, it's a statue. Inexplicably, it has a dark cloth covering its head. Oh! Use morphine on, Father. No. Hmm. The walls are completely covered with crosses. A mentally ill act. <laughs> well, ha! <laughs> Uh, that's, uh, <clears throat> sort of a controversial thing to say. Hit Jesus. Hit Priest. Uh, play music box. Yes, yes? No? Give morphine to Christ. He seems to be having a hard time. Alright, bye. I can't leave. Oh, he has a large burn covering his eyes. He is completely blind. Oh! Despite his decrepitude, extreme thinness, and paleness, I can still recognize Father Ernest. But he seems far away, like in another world. Probably because he's blind. Give him lucky coin. No, give him... Give him the morphine now? Is that something that can happen? No? Okay. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall ever be. Now, my son, tell the Lord which one is his voice. The sharp sword, the wise quill, or the delicate petal. The new Mazda 2014 Friggity Fragmobile. Okay. <sighs> which is his voice? Delicate petal. No, 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 you're enveloped by sin. And now, my son, tell the Lord which one is his holy path. The wise virtue, the endless blame, or the blessed penance. Blessed penance. No, 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 your soul lives embraced by the darkness. And now, my son, tell the Lord who are you. The faceless pilgrim, the gate guard, or the lost seaman. Heh, <laughs> lost seaman. Yes, yes, that is it, my son. We live lost in an endless ocean of sin and blame. Now leave me alone. I have to purify my soul. I have a feeling that he would have said the first two things were wrong no matter what I said. Take crosses. Mumble. Dear God in heaven, I feel for you. Your light is in my eyes. I'll burn them for you. Dear God in heaven, I feel for you. Ball work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Old razor blade stained with blood. That will cut a tapestry. That will cut a tapestry. Okay. I don't think I need anything more out of this douchebag. Okay, so... Here we go, here we go, here we go. Away to cut a tapestry in twain. Behind the tapestry we'll find lots of things that will explain the entire game. We will not be disappointed. The story won't be disjointed. We're going to find everything out. Huh. Cut the tapestry open. Come on now. We're gonna see what it's about. Ugh. Using the wooden stump as a handle, I could use this to cut. That made no sense, but that's why I picked it. Okay. Shred. Hope you didn't need that. Back into the past. 
We've got him, Leviosa. And finally, our expert on philosophy, Jeremiah David Debbie. Where were you, my friend? We've been looking for you. Well, as I was saying, tonight is the perfect moment for our next meeting, but I suspect that someone outside our group is secretly surveilling us. Who is it, Anthony? My dear friends, it's Professor Glynn. You mean Father Ernest? Certainly, no doubt about it. Therefore, dear colleagues, I have decided to change the venue for tonight's meeting. Have you noticed the lounge behind the small door of the dining room? I have believed convenient to borrow the keys for our necessities. You already know, at 12 o'clock, you'll find the door open, and I'll be inside the lounge. Suddenly, I'm Southern. That's it, my dearest colleagues. Video games are not for scaredy cats. That's what that translates to. <sighs> this, is, this, is, this is taking a long time. This is taking a long time. I remember that in this furniture we used to keep some of our personal belongings. Now it is empty. How do you know? You didn't go over and check. You didn't look in any of the drawers. Eh. The walls are in complete dirty. I could probably punch through it if I tried. So, punch through it. Punch through it, you bitch. Alright. I remember that this is the bed where I used to sleep when I was a student here. Dusty mirror. Is there nothing I need here? Oh. Oh, uh, I go seep. I go seeps. No, no reason for that, but I go seeps. Mr. Rabbit was jumping through the forest in a warm spring afternoon. What? Okay. Okay, Mr. Rabbit. With going through a bush, Mr. Rabbit ran into Mr. Wolf, Mr. Vulture, and Mrs. Snake, who were having a heated argument. This will end with the rabbit getting eaten. Predictable. Mr. Rabbit, curious, asked them, Dearest, why are you arguing in this beautiful and cheerful spring afternoon? Oh, is this slender with the eight pages? Mr. Wolf answered politely, What are we what we are trying to decide is who of us will have the pleasure to eat you up. Mm-hmm. Mr. Rabbit, really scared, said, But I don't want to be eaten, I want to live. Boring. Okay, blood, 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 blood. To which Mrs. Snake answered, smiling, That's impossible to happen, Mr. Rabbit, since we all, both you and us, are going to die sooner or later. Don't you think so? No. Ugh. Who's that in the window? Mr. Vulture added, Mrs. Snake is right. We should stick to the issue at hand. It's getting late, and, you see, we do not agree. Do you want to help us decide, Mr. Rabbit? Who would you suggest as the one to eat you? I see you in the window, you motherfucker. Oh, there's another one. After thinking about it for a while, Mr. Rabbit came up with an idea and carefully said, I got it! Why not organize a race? The first who arrives to the forest clearing will have the privilege to eat me. No doubt Mr. Wolf can run at high speed, but Mr. Vulture can go flying and avoid any obstacle. And I'm sure that Mrs. Snake knows all the shortcuts within the forest. I guess the competition is balanced. What do you... Yeah, I see all you people. You fucking weirdo. This one's like, uh, uh, like what you see? Come on, take a look at me. The three predators agreed that it was fair, so they started the race and they quickly disappeared. Uh... Yeah, boy! Take a look at all this in the window. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Mr. Rabbit, happy to trick them, started running at high speed in the opposite direction of the predators, who, eager to prove their work, didn't re or worth, didn't realize the trick. Okay. So nobody ate anybody. And then they starved and died. The end. Mr. Rabbit was far away from there, and he felt safe, happy, and proud of his cunning. But suddenly there was a loud bang, the earth shook, frightened birds flew, and everything went dark. 
the end. <laughs> bunny, 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 redhead, bunny, 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 boo. Yeah, whatever. So, uh, hey, hey, bros, what you doing, being, being furries? Hey, we're, we're here for the furry convention. Which way is it? Is it over there or over there? Sorry, there's no convention here at the nursing home that used to be a boarding school. I think you might want the slaughterhouse down the street. Okay. In impossible, an impossible love. Yes. There is something I kept for myself for a long time. And the thing is that I love you. I have always loved you. Since the first time I saw you. Since the first time I felt your frozen hands. Holy shit, he's a necrophile. Each time I move away from you, I miss your glassy, empty dead eyes. Jesus Christ, the groundskeeper is a fucking necrophile. I miss your rough hair, your grayish skin, your stench. Holy shit! But our love just can't be! I love this dude! This is fucking amazing! It is an impossible love. <laughs> this is the funniest fucking thing! No, not again. How long have I been sleeping? What was that about? Not again. When, when did you sleep before? In the nightmare, it wasn't a nightmare, it was a fucking comedy. In the nightmare, I found a place, a place in my memories. Oh, man, that was amazing. Oh, God, game of the year for that fucking, that sequence. That sequence in the dream world. Holy shit. Alright, now what do I gotta do? I thought this would be fucking over by now. I'm not going to break this into another video because I feel like I'm close to the ending here. I feel like I'm close. And if this suddenly stops, it's because it ran too long and I realized I had to cut it into multiple videos. If it stopped at a previous moment, and this is in another fourth video, then you know, uh, hey, that's what happened. So... Okay. Alright, whatever. Do not care. He's not out here anymore. See what's going on in the backyard. Yes, yes. Still? You're still doing this. I had time to fucking take a nap, dude. Uh So what happened here is that this groundskeeper dude probably doesn't even belong here. Probably was never really asked to come here. He's just a guy who saw an opportunity with this blind Monsignor locking himself away like a hermit. And these nuns not knowing what the fuck is going on. He's someone who like saw an opportunity to wedge his way in here and start screwing the dead people. And killing the sick people to make them dead people. At least that's what I gather. I could be totally wrong. I have no fucking I have no fucking clue what the hell's going on here. What am I supposed to do? You're still asleep. What else could there be to do here? What else is possibly left to do? Leave? Oh, I have to find the groundskeeper wherever he is, I bet. That's the uh, conundrum here. Nope. Alright, so he's not outside anywhere. That's a good thing to know. He's got to be upstairs, possibly in the nun's room. Go into house. Go into hosu. He's possibly in here. Yes? No. 
Oh wait, did I already go in there? I think I already went in there. I don't know what I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Uh mm, no. Alright, so that's cutting down on places he could be. He must be in that room that I almost entered but didn't enter. Is that correct? In here? Is he in here? Oh, groundskeeper, Willy! I know you are there. You didn't hear me? Get out of my room. Fuck you! Despite being blind, he preserves good hearing. I must be more careful when moving. Okay. Yep. Huh. Huh. What am I trying to get here? Is there anything I'm trying to get? I don't understand. If I move like one step or something? Aha! What am I trying to get here, though? If anything. I don't know what I'm moving toward. The altar? I'm clicking the floor, but I'm not moving. I move when he moves, and I move when he coughs. Whoop. That was a little late. What am I doing? <laughs> Trying to fake me out? Ah! What are you doing? You coughed and you still heard me. Why? Why? If I knew what I was trying to get, I'd know which way to go here. The candle's having almost burned out. I eliminate the room. What am I trying to do? What am I trying to do? Huh. <sighs> Move. Oh, now he's kneeling. Whoop. Can I just move? Okay, I don't need to wait till he's moving, do I? Oh, yeah, I do. Fuck! Go! Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Literally, Jesus Christ. Oh, come on! Fuck that. Okay, so... Let's go back to searching for what we're supposed to do. I don't know. There was no reason for that. It was to get... When I looked at the walkthrough, I looked at that point and it said it's to get the razor out of his cabinet. Which I had already fucking gotten. So there actually was no reason for me <laughs> to go back in there. Oh, good gracious. I don't know. So now back to searching. It probably would be more fun for you guys to watch if I had read the walkthrough and I was cheating. <laughs> in the beginning of this game. And just whipped through everything. But, you know, live and learn, then get loves. But I don't want to go outside again. And this room, I think, never has anything for me. Maybe I can... Well, no. I lost my log, so I can't break anything. Why can I... Oh, of course. In the dream world, there was a trap door here. So, in my disturbing nightmare, I was brought to the spot. Oh, God. Things you would never fucking know. It's the trap door I saw in my nightmare. Jump on down. From here sprouts a horrible stench. There's something down there. There's a bunch of corpses, and there's the groundskeeper. Who's wearing them as party hats. Did you see it? Did you see it? I was there, just in front of me. It was there, just in front of me. He was screaming. Here's the morphine. 
There you go, buddy. Kill yourself. Seems like this is a horrible, horrible fate. More horrible than you already had. Rest in pieces. Alright. R.I.P. and pepperonis. Corpses. Stretchers used to carry the corpses here. Who was behind all this? The groundskeeper. The decayed corpse of a young woman. It seems as if she has been devoured by an animal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Walls are spattered with dried blood. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. We's Let's go the other way first before we go through the door, just in case there's anything we we're supposed to pick up over here. Stretchers and stretchers and stretchers. Oh, do you hear the flies? Must have been dead at least a week, still bearing an expression of horror. Hear them flies? No, nothing I need here. Okay. Okay. Okay, nothing I need. <sighs> Alright, showdown with the final boss. Use coin to blind groundskeeper. Ooh. Yes? Yes? Punctual as always, Devitt. Now all that remains is to introduce our guest. You may come in now, Professor. Father Ernest. Do not worry, my friend. I invited him to join us this evening. The Professor genuinely shares our curiosity, and who better to complete our group than the one of the most renowned theologists? Moreover, we mustn't ban those who are willing to explore beyond the veil. The moment we have long waited for has now arrived. Please, all of you, take a seat and we shall begin the procedure. Soon shall the door be open, and then we may finally see what lies beyond. And we'll get our eyes burnt out if we're the Father Ernest. Now I ask that you close your eyes. You will feel a momentary prick as I inject you with the serum. You will feel a tiny prick, so close your eyes and get ready. Oh, ho, ho. Who wouldn't know? Okay. Oh, hey, Father. Even after all these years, I have not forgotten your voice. You are the fourth witness. I remember. I remember now what happened. What is that we saw? The eye of the bird. Malcolm in the middle. What happened to us? What is it that we witnessed? You must tell me. You must make me understand what my mind cannot fathom. It was our curiosity that damned us. We opened that which should not have been opened. In doing so, we shone the veil that separated our world from his. In seeking vision, we were ourselves seen by the eye of the bird. Eye of the birdie. The eye of the bird saw us. It remembers us. It looks for us. It calls us from its dark nest, from its abominable lair. All these years I have attempted to return to it, but I have no strength left. These poor wretched creatures are too fragile. They lack the sight to return. Not one of them is returned. Only us, the four witnesses. Yeah, whatever. Who are the other two? Where are they? They disappeared as you did. I haven't heard from any of you. But I was seized by curiosity. I absconded with my faith and deprived... It absconded with my faith and deprived me of my sanity. Oh Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned. In the butt. Nothing remains. All that is left is surrender. Surrender to him. Gravely have we sinned, and now our only absolution is to burn, to burn in the flames! And so he burned down the whole building. Malum. In. The middle. Okay, well, yeah, you're dead. Now you're just like some kind of pile of goo. Oh, you burned the father! Hey, hey! Who wants to be my lovely corpse bride? Not me. I think we won that fight. Hmm? Hmm? Any day now. Any day now, game. Anytime you want to show me anything. Anytime you want to be a game. Anytime you want to actually interact with the player. At all. That would be fine. I understand we're being buried alive. I get it. I get it. We're being buried alive. There's no need to take this long. This is black, blank space. This is dead air. You're not showing me anything. You're not doing anything. Okay. And there I am, dead. The adventure continues in Chapter 3. Yeah... 
So is this character dead, or is Chapter 3 going to start with me uh, being dug up or something? Ugh. All right. Well, I'll check in on the next chapter and see what happens from here, but yeah. If there's anything more like the uh, giant bunnies and such, then I will very much enjoy it, because that was hilarious. Nun's drawers. <laughs> Who wants to describe some nun's drawers? So I guess this is just cycling, or is that not the case? Yeah, backyard trees description. Okay. So yeah, that was The Last Door, Chapter 2, Memories... Oh, God, so much hunting and searching and pecking for things to randomly find, and... Oh, God. Okay. Goodbye, everybody.